I'm Lucy Fink. This is five days of saving money. So every week, somehow, I find myself spending $40 on pancakes, mostly short snacks. To date, I've done about a dozen five-day challenges. I've challenged myself with food, with sleep, with technology. I was very inspired by my $50 budget video because you guys really responded to that. For me, five days of saving money is a little different. I'm not restricting myself to the exact amount that I can spend this week. Rather, I'm just trying to find ways to save money across all aspects of life. Clearly, there's lots to talk about when it comes to money. This is a very, very rich territory. See what I did there? I thought this episode was very timely as some of my coworkers at Refinery29 are currently doing something called the Takeout Takeout. Click the link in the description box below for all of the rules. And they're keeping money diaries to track their spending. So I thought, perfect. In my five days of saving money, I'm gonna kick off Monday, focusing on food. But before I know what to buy, I'm gonna sit down with some of the food editors at Refinery29, and I'm gonna hear their tips on grocery shopping in bulk when trying to save money. So my favorite thing to do is to go to the grocery store and kind of buy a bunch of stuff that I can make big batch meals out of. It's better if you already have meals in the fridge that you can just heat up. Right. And if you're making more than one thing, that's sort of still easy to make. That way you'll have more variety. Try not to cook too many of the same things, just because you'll get bored and then you'll be like tempted to like go out, put the finger on seamless. Right. I'm sure you'll you're gonna do great. save so much money. Take out, take out. Thanks, girl. So a big part of social life at work is going out to lunch with friends. So whenever you pack your lunch, you don't really get to do that, which kind of sucks, but you do save money. You end up in the break room by yourself, eating out of your lunchbox. Go, go, Power Ranger. Now that I'm already doing the takeout, takeout, and I'm saving on food, I decided that I want to start saving on my social life. It honestly doesn't matter where you live, going out can get very expensive. Whether you're paying cover at a bar, or you're just going to a concert, maybe you're just getting brunch with friends, these things add up. Pretty soon, in a day that's meant to be all fun and games, you wind up blowing $50. So tonight, I've asked a bunch of my friends to come over to my apartment. Everyone's chipping in $15. We're getting a cheap bottle of wine, half homemade, half potluck, all savings, all fun. It's gonna be great. I found this amazing deal on Groupon that was only $30 for a bikini wax, a chocolate bikini wax. My bikini was covered in chocolate. Never before has such a fun night with my friends cost me just shy of $14. I'm not just saying this, I honestly think that the time we spent together was a lot more valuable than time we would have spent at a restaurant or bar because honestly, we weren't on anyone else's time, we weren't being rushed out, we weren't in a loud room where we couldn't hear each other. It was just really time well spent. I woke up this morning and I was like, what am I gonna do to save money today? I've already saved on food, I've already saved on my social life, and then it hit me and I decided I'm gonna walk to work today. Do I really need to take the subway every day? I mean, my monthly pass cost me $116.50. Typically, I go from my apartment to the office, from point A to point B, and I'm underground, and I don't even see what's over me. But today when I walked, I came across some new restaurants that I wanted to try, some new coffee shops that I had never seen before. I wrote everything down. Walking to work is definitely something that I'm gonna do for the rest of the week, but I also think that it's something I'm gonna take with me after these five days are up, and maybe pick one day a week if it's not too cold outside, save some money and walk. I love this city. So I bought this piggy bank. It was one of those pig-shaped piggy banks that you had to smash to get the money inside. So after months and months of saving, I finally smashed it open and counted all the money. The piggy bank ended up costing more than the money in it. Thursday night is date night. Just because I'm saving money this week though, doesn't mean that I wanna compromise the romance of it all. So, I put on my lipstick and my boyfriend and I walked to Lincoln Center where we sat down on the edge of the fountain, laid back and stargazed in the city. So romantic. Despite what you might think, the stars are visible from the middle of Manhattan. Take a look around Groupon, Living Social. These places have amazing date ideas that are half or even a third of the price. And also don't underestimate the power of free dates. Are you gonna take me on more free dates from now on? Definitely, that's the plan. Any way I can get a free date out of you. Aww. Oh my God, do I use coupons? <laughs> coupons? I love coupons. It's like free money in your hand. I wish I was the coupon lady on Extreme Couponers. I feel like a millionaire. Oh, this is very dangerous. 
My goal during this five-day experiment was to try to figure out ways that I could tangibly impact my life once these five days are up. And I think that's exactly what I did. Maybe one date every week will be a free date. Free things can be fun. I'm hoping that you guys can take something away from this week and apply it to your lives and hopefully save a little bit of money yourselves. Because as my mom says, it all adds up. Maybe it was my dad. No, it was my mom. It was my mom. So far, these 12 challenges that I've done have been so much fun and I've learned so much along the way, but we're about to go on hold and start production for the next cycle of videos, which will be airing in late March. So be sure to come back to watch those and in the meantime, comment below and let me know what you want to see me try. Thanks for watching. Have a good February. Bye. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone and please come back next Friday because we have a brand new YouTube series. It's going to be funny, it's going to be cool, I'm going to go on the street and talk to real people in New York City. You don't want to miss this. Subscribe to Refinery29 to keep up to date with the latest episodes. See you on Friday. Subscribe in the meantime.